Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about uh, building autoresponders in uh, PHP Runner and uh, ASPR Runner .NET. So this uh, project is built on the top of uh, email reader template. I guess many of you are familiar with email reader template. You don't need to use this template but it is easier in a way that it can receive emails, parse them, and uh, just draw as an individual parts like body subject attachments, uh, saves everything in the database. So we are building on the top of that. Again, you don't need to use it, but it just can handle like the boring part for you. So that's our project. We enhanced the uh, email functions.php file, uh, adding some processing for the email. So there are two different, uh, like a three different functions here. One processes uh, email body. I'll show you how it works. And there are two more functions that process attached uh, CSV and Excel files. So let me show you an idea of how it works. Uh, let's send a, uh, let me send a test email to myself to a test address that I specified in the database and new data. And I will both paste something into the code, uh, into the body of the email. And I am also going to attach CSV file. So we're going to do both. Okay. Uh, because our code allows you, you can then attach multiple files if you want to. We're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so there is a CSV file on my desktop. And I will show you what kind of data is that. And also I have, uh, that's an example of the actual uh, format of uh, uh, order notifications that we used to receive from our payment provider. So we actually were using something like this to process orders we receive from our customers. So let's see, let's modify our first and last names. So we know that this is a new record and not something that was already in the database. at apple.com and we send it to test at excellence.com okay let's do okay perfect and now go here let's build and uh, launch our project And here it is. So it uses uh, uh, the same three tables that come with uh, email reader template. And also there is uh, one more table called uh, mail data. Uh, you can see it contains 88 records right now. Okay. And uh, uh, to actually uh, retrieve the email, we need to invoke. Uh, get mail.php file. Usually you specify a cron job to pin this file like once every five minutes, for instance, but we are doing it manually, obviously, in my local host. So Okay, yeah, I see it's uh, skipping some uh, emails that were uh, retrieved already and saving a new one. Okay, now let's go back. That's our raw email just received. And mail data now contains uh, 114 records. So there should be one record uh, that we specified in the body of the email and a few more that we have uh, 
attach a CSV file. So let's scroll down and let's find the one with uh, Steve Jobs. Let's search for it, right? Okay, that's the record that was specified in the body of the email, right? Andrew Jackson, Steve Jobs, and all other records were in the CSV file. Oh, by the way, uh, we're talking about uh, autoresponders, right? So there is a part of the code that after processes email, uh, if the import was successful, uh, it sends back an email. Okay, and let's go back to the web browser and go to my Gmail and two new records here. So it sends back an autoresponder and uh, it's a link uh, to uh, view the record we just have added. So let's see what's in here. And here it is. That's, uh, except that's not the one. I guess this is the one, yeah. Right, yeah, 109, okay. That's Andrew Jackson and that's our Steve Jobs. So, and uh, for CSV files, edit 25 records. It just counts the number of records was uh, in CSV file and uh, adds that to the email that we sent back, that's all. Uh, all the processing is, uh, happening in uh, in this file email reader functions that php okay so process email function is what is getting executed after we receive every single email first of all we call email data to db function by passing the same all the same parameters uh, what we're doing here is uh, we have a list of the fields uh, of the possible fields in the email. Some of them can be missing, uh, doesn't really matter. And what we do, we parse that email, uh, we retrieve, we strip HTML tags, and we parse it line by line. And for every line, we trying to see if uh, it starts with our field name, okay? And uh, if it does, we extract the content we need to uh, insert into our database and add it to data for insert array. Let me show you again how it looks. It starts with the field name. And uh, the best case scenario, like we're doing it like a simple way, right? So field name. Uh, in the database uh, matches the field name of uh, like of what you see like a label. So field name and the label that appears in the email are exactly the same. If you wanted to do something slightly more sophisticated, so you don't probably want to have a field name email address with a space. So you probably needed to have uh, two arrays here in your code uh one with field names as they appear in the database and another one with the label so you match label based on the label you figure out the field name in the database it's uh it's can be done we're just trying to show you like a easiest example so we process our email field by field uh, for every data field that we found we store its value in the array uh, under the field name and uh, once the cycle is over we see if there we had any fields to insert and if we did we use database api function db insert and table name is mail data and array with data is right here so it's really really simple then we use another database API function, last ID, and we retrieve the ID of the record. And we are sending uh, the autoresponder itself right here. So in the, in the body, we specify a link to view page of uh, 
uh, mail data table and pointing it to the record we have just have added that's all so it's pretty simple for this part parsing email so again for uh, for the simplicity we assume that all data here uh, uh, doesn't occupy occupy more than one line so it doesn't account for line breaks but this is something that looks like if you receive like uh, orders notification from uh, other providers like Shopify or I don't know, uh, you can use this technique to parse these emails and sort them in the database. It was a pleasure talking to you all and till the next meeting. All right, guys. Bye bye and take care.